Good day, students. Today we are going to do a lesson from Engage New York Mathematics. This lesson is for fourth graders like you. It's unit one and lesson number six. Let's begin. The first thing we need to do is review our learning targets. That learning targets is what we will go home and tell our mom and dad that we learned. So, our learning targets is, I will be able to find 1, 10, and 100,000 more or less than a given number. Okay, let's go ahead and look at that again. I'm going to be focusing on 1, 10, and 100,000 more or less than a given number. Let's go ahead and take a look at our first example. The first thing we need to do is make a number grid with ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, and ten thousands. I'm going to put a few number, number disks here, so let's see what happens. So the first number disk I'm going to put is a thousand, so that means there is one thousand, that's the number. The second number disk I'm going to put is another thousand, so now we have two thousand. So what happens if we get a thousand more? Well, if we add another 1,000 in the given number, we now have 3,000. Now I'm going to represent 112 hundreds in number disks. So, I have a hundreds number disk to represent the 100. I have a tens represent number disk to represent the 10. And I have a 2 number disk to represent the 2. Oops, I don't put the 2 in there. Actually, it should look like this. It should be 1, 2, number 1 number disks. So as you can see, when I add a thousand to two thousand it became three thousand and then I simply displayed the other numbers or excuse me, digits with number disks. So let's do another example. Again the first thing I knew it need to do is create my chart so I have the ones, tens, thousands, excuse me, hundreds, thousands, and ten thousands. Now I'm going to display a number so I have 1,000 disks, 2,000 disks, 3,000 disks, 100 disks. I have 1 tens disks. I have 2 ones disks, which again gives me the same number, 3,112. So let's see what happens. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a 1,000 greater. I'm going to make the number 1,000 greater by adding a number disk, 1,000 number disk. So that changes it from the 3,000 to a value of 4,000, which changes my number to 4,112. All right. Now I'm going to change my number and increase it by a 10,000. So it changes it from 4,112 to 14,112. Now I'm going to change the number again by decreasing it by a thousand, getting rid of a number, one thousand numbered disks, disk. So now I have three thousand numbered disks, one, two, three, so that changes my four into a three, and I now have thirteen thousand one hundred twelve, which is one thousand less than fourteen thousand one hundred twelve. The number is going to change again. Let's increase it by a thousand again, which gives us 14,112. I'm going to increase it by another thousand, which gives us now 15,112. So we can see we change that number by decreasing it by a thousand and also increasing it by a thousand. And we more, more than that, we increased it by one ten thousand, which gave us the final number of 15,000. 112, which you see right here on the bottom. Good job. We're almost done. Let's look at one more example. So again, the first thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to need to create our number grid. This number grid is going to look different from the last number grid. It's going to have on top of it the ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, and hundred thousands. I also put the number on top. You can see we have 199,465. Now let's start representing this number with number disks. As you can see, to, I have five ones, six tens, four hundreds, nine thousands, nine ten thousands, and one one hundred thousand. Let's start manipulating this number. 
So what happens if in this number we get rid of 8,000? We decrease the number by 1,000. Well, let's see. The number in the thousands, the digit in the thousands place, now becomes an 8. So the number turns to 198,465. Woo! That's a big one. All right, let's go ahead and replace it with the original number, which increases the number we previously had, again, by a thousand. All right, well, what happens now if we decide to increase by a thousand? Well, hmm, that sure looks like an awful lot of thousands. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, it is now time to regroup. So what we're going to do is we're going to take, because there's ten in, a 10 in the thousands place, and we know we need to regroup those to the 10 thousands place. So we're going to circle them, and we're going to move them over. So 10, ten one thousands equal one ten thousand. So the digit in the place value turns to a zero, and we knew it will erase all of those disks. Now... It seems like an awful lot in the ten thousands place. Let's go ahead and count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Oh, we're going to need to regroup again. So we're going to circle them, and we're going to take the ten ten thousands and turn them into a hundred thousand. So we need to change the number, the digit that's in the ten thousands, and that's going to become a zero because there's 10 of them. And we're going to move it over to the hundred thousands, and that becomes two. So our final number, when we increased it just by a thousand, is 200,465. Great job. Whoo! Good job. That's really hard to be able to distinguish between number and digit. Let's practice that in the future. So, let's review our learning targets. So, remember our learning targets were, I will be able to find one, ten, and a hundred thousand more or less than a given number. So, we will continue to work on this learning target as we continue through our next examples. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.